Dawson Ryder with you. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. It is time for a ranking video. With Kishi Ryu Sentai Ryu Soldier ending, we have yet another dinosaur prehistoric based Sentai under our belts. And I thought it would be fun in the wake of that and also in the wake of me using the word wake. Get woke, Scully! In the wake of Power Rangers doing Ryu Soldier for its next incarnation, I thought it would be fun to rank all of the dinosaur Sentai series so far. Now, as always at the beginning of these videos, disclaimer, this is my opinion, this is my list, it's not the list, it's not the right list, so let's get that out of the way at the beginning, although I'm sure people will still be mad at me. So let's start at the bottom, the bottom of the list, which you would assume to be number four, right? Nope, it's number five, bottom of the list is Dino Force Brave. Bet you didn't expect that, maybe you did, I don't know. But Dino Force Brave, in case you didn't know, is the Korean exclusive sequel series to Juden Sentai Kyuujer. It only ran for 12 episodes and was primarily made to ca capitalize on the popularity of the Kyuujer line for their Power Rangers series, because they basically just dub it but call it Power Rangers, to make more toys. And that was the sole reason it existed. That was the sole purpose for which it was created. And watching it, it is a very just by the number series. It's as if they took just the basic DNA of the plot points that Sentai would have and the bullet points and that was the series. There was no build up or development to these plot points. It was just basically like, here's the Zord, here's our debut. Oh my god, you're my brother, we're family. But like, within episode two, these characters just met and they're like, oh my god, we're the best bonded family of our found family. I'm like, dude, you, you don't even know, that. what's his name? Cover up his name tag, what's his name? It was very generic. I mean, it was decently enjoyable watch, but it was really almost nothing of a show. Like, think about if you've ever seen those shows, they're like YouTube exclusive shows that are um, marketing a toy line that's in Target, but they're like five minute, ten minute episodes that it's like the most basic shirt you've ever seen. That's what this show was. So I think that all the other shows deserve to be above it for being actual shows. As for things I liked about it, I respected some of the ideas of continuing the Kyuujer story. I did like the designs, especially of their main mecha, one of my all-time favorite mecha designs if I'm being honest. And even though the suits were kind of weird looking like they were wearing like a cummerbund, I did kind of dig them. So. There was some cool stuff about it. I didn't hate it because I wasn't expecting anything amazing, but it was kind of nothing. Now coming in at actual number four, starting the full-on Dino Sentais, is Churyu Sentai Jew Ranger. So if you've watched my channel or followed me in any form, you know I'm not a Jew Ranger fan. I think it's absolutely awful. Well, not absolutely. Let's not over-exaggerate, but I don't like it. It's not very good for me. It's just so much filler. After the beginning episodes, like 95% of the series is filler about kids in shorts. It's such a hard watch because there's no plot movement for so long. Much like MMPR itself, the only plot really is the Green Ranger. I mean, that's exaggerating a little bit, but that's primarily it. And there's hardly any character development. You barely get to know the characters. You get to know a couple little tidbits, primarily focuses on Geki and Barai, who are basically fighting over an illogical misunderstanding. And I, I rewatched it once and I softened on a little bit. There's some cool elements to it, but it's not great. It's one of my least favorite Sentai of all time. Like I did with uh, Dino Force, to say some positive things about it, I did think it had, had a really cool mythology, and I really did enjoy the first handful of episodes because they had a really nice build up to uh, getting the mecha and the weapons, and they fleshed out the mythology a bit, and some of the finale stuff was okay, but overall, it's just a very boring, filler filled Sentai. Coming in at number three is our most recent entry, Kishi Ryu Sentai Ryu Soldier. Now, I wasn't sure if I was going to like this more or Jew Ranger more since I had a very rough start with Q Ranger or Q Ranger, uh, Jew Ranger here at the be- All these Rangers, man! Since I had a very rough start with Ryu Soldier, the first half was not a lot unlike Jew Ranger. Lots of filler, feeling like I was wasting my time. So many Sentai filler episodes are absolutely just valueless to the world when you think about it. But the thing is, though, the second half really picked up Pretty good pacing on the plot. I was decently invested. I liked the designs. I think that the second half of Ryu Soldier alone was a lot better than all of Jew Ranger for me, and I think they did a much better job at actually keeping a pacing of a plot and enjoyment, as well as characterization. Not perfect, but I felt like I got to know the characters at least a little bit, whereas in Jew Ranger, 
really not so much. And so it's not the greatest, but it's very mid-range, which is basically why it's on the mid position of this list. Number two. I actually thought this was going to come in num number one because it is higher on my personal Sentai lists, which might be rearranged now. So this kind of throws off the math of comparing this list to my Sentai list. But number two is Juden Sentai Kyoryuger. I thought Kyoryuger was a really good series. Not perfect, I can definitely understand why people have some problems with it, but I thought it was a very well-balanced series in terms of the plot and the character development as well as some of the silliness. The designs were pretty cool. There was some interesting mythology in, in thought out throughout it, which I thought was neat. I appreciated that they actually incorporated the samba and dancing into the mythology and spirit of the show in a way that honestly felt right. I loved having a lot of Ranger series, and this series gets criticized quite a lot for Daigo focus, which I can get from a certain perspective, but I feel like most Sentai and Power Rangers series focus on a red or one other ranger because of marketing, because it makes narrative sense to have a focal point. And I agree that Daigo got more focused than some, but it never bothered me that much because to me it didn't feel that overblown. I feel like there's certain series where all of a sudden people decide it's a problem, even though it happens in every series, and that's the way I felt about this. And I mainly say that because I personally didn't have too big of a problem with Daigo stealing too much focus because I honestly can remember every single character. Ryu Soldier obviously had the core five, six rangers, but you had a bunch of different characters and I can distinctly remember their personalities and something about them. And while they all didn't get equal focus, I think that's a huge testament to how well they did in my opinion, that given that there was about 10 rangers, I can distinctly remember each of them. It was not a perfect series, but I think it was very well balanced and was always surprising me and was always enjoyable. Coming in at number one for me, as you would have expected, is Dinosaurs, the show from the 90s. It is Bakuru Sentai Abba Ranger, which I think is the most underrated Dino Sentai. Honestly, one of the most underrated Sentai, period. But an underrated Dino Sentai because I feel it gets lost in the shuffle. A setting aside Ryu Soldier, which obviously is in the forefront right now because it's the Sentai that just ended, it's gonna be the Power Rangers adaption. But before Ryu Soldier came along, is the awkward middle child because MMPR came out of Jew Ranger, so it's got that huge recognizable factor, and then people find Jew Ranger because of MMPR, and they're like, oh my god, before I die, that makes it the best Sentai of all time. Jew Ranger has this huge popularity, and then Kyoryuger exploded in popularity, was hugely successful in Japan, they had a bunch of different specials, they did that sequel series in Korea, we did Dino Charge here, which was also pretty decently popular. So you have these two kind of juggernauts, and then you have Abba Ranger kind of sitting there in the middle. And I think it's an excellent Sentai. I talk about how uh, Kyoryuger is well balanced, and I think that is here too. I think Kyoryuger is arguably more well balanced, but I think Abba Ranger is this really cool amalgam of all these different things I both like and don't like about Sentai. And it's because it's got an inter- I think all the Dino Sentai honestly have pretty solid mythology. I feel like I've really realized that by doing this video. But I liked the mythology laid out by it. I liked the characters. Once they got going with the plot, I thought it was good pacing. I think there were some truly great characters in there, like Abre Killer and Abre Black. Abre Killer is one of my favorite suits of all time, but he's easily one of my favorite Sentai characters of all time as well, and the closest I think we'll get for a long time, if not ever, to a truly just evil ranger who is like an antagonist for the majority of the show. I like the way that the, uh, the dinosaurs had personality in that and bonded with the rangers, and like the humor was very classic Sentai. And I said it was a combination of things I both liked and didn't like, and that was so true here because it had some of the most absolute stereotypical Sentai quirk, like that's that's its superpower. Like Sentai quirkiness where there'd be ones where I'm like, oh, that was awful, I hate it. But then there are other ones that was just so weird and endearing I couldn't help but like it. And so it was like that weird amalgam, but it was such a nice balance between weird episodes where the rangers suddenly have wigs, and then a dramatic episode that gets into the character beats of Abre Killer and the mythology. I think it's a really underrated series. I can see how it's not going to be for everybody, but I definitely recommend you checking it out if you haven't. I think it flies under a lot of people's radar. It's very unfortunate Shout stopped doing the DVD releases just in time, or at least for now, for us to get to the good stuff like Abra Ranger. But to leave you on one final thought for that, I didn't even need to say all that stuff I just said about Abba Ranger because there's one reason it's the top, the GOAT character in tokusatsu history, Wacker Wilson. Okay, that is it for my list. What did you guys think of, what did you guys think of, what did you guys think of this video? Please, 
pay me compliments. What do you guys think? What are your rankings for the Dino Sentai? I would like to know. Let me know in the comments as always. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell to get the notifications for my videos. Until next time, Dawson Rider, signing out.